switching gears today he, we here at channel 7 are celebrating our 75th anniversary and to help us honor all those years of bringing you the news the mayor declared today august 10th wabc day to mark the occasion the empire state building will be lit in eyewitness blue tonight uh, i had a chance to be there to help flip that ceremonial switch this morning along with several friends and colleagues and eyewitness news reporter kimberly richardson is at the empire state building right now with a look back on channel 7's history kimberly well, Sandra, August 10th, 1948, it was a Tuesday, Harry Truman was in the White House, and Candid Camera made its TV debut. Also, first on the air, WJZ, what would later become WABC, which is still a dominant force in this industry. And so, right now, a celebration of all that is Eyewitness News. Three, two, one. To mark the 75th anniversary, a ceremony at an iconic landmark, Mayor Eric Adams declaring this WABC TV Day. You heard everyday New Yorkers. You gave New Yorkers inspiration after, after September 11th, and we witnessed our center of trade collapse. You brought us back uh, during COVID when we were afraid. We didn't know what was uh, the forecast that was ahead of us. Uh, this station was there to give us real information and allow people to familiarize themselves on how we navigate the challenging uh, times. For more than seven decades, it's, it's been a work in progress. At the very beginning, Channel 7 was only on the air for a few hours. Along with the news, you'd see cartoons, westerns, game shows, even roller derby. Things got off to a slow start, a diamond in the rough. But there was no stopping this train. In 1968, a defining moment, Al Primo waved his magic wand and reshaped how the news was structured, putting in place his signature eyewitness news format. Legendary anchors, a team of ace reporters and photographers, and a small army inside the newsroom. Soon, the competition was taking note. Some of the old campaigns that still hold true today resonate with generations of loyal viewers. Believe in Eyewitness News. Still the one, and this favorite. But damn, there, there goes that eyewitness news fan again. <laughs> Most important then and now, WABC's commitment to keep you informed in good and bad times. We don't just report on issues. We roll up our sleeves and do everything we can to support, celebrate, and entertain New Yorkers. What you're looking at is actually a miniature version of Empire, the real deal. It's actually roughly, roughly 14,000 feet tall. So tonight, 801 at sunset, the top will magically turn eyewitness news blue. I've had the honor of having a front seat here at this station for more than two decades. For now, we're live in Midtown, Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Hey, nobody's counting. By the way, thank you for the memories. It was great looking at this. All our friends and colleagues from days past. Yeah, we all stop counting cameras. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, still ahead in Eyewitness News First. So for new information on efforts to house and take care of all the migrants who continue to come into New York City in today's meeting between the mayor and a White House advisor. Plus, influencer Kai Sinat speaks out for the very first time since that chaos surrounding his giveaway in Union Square. And prices ticked up again last month, but less than expected. We'll tell you the one product driving up costs the most.